Howdy doody there everyone. My name is Perry Howdy and I'm hoping you guys are having a good day today. And welcome back to yet another episode of Matt Reader's 100 Days in Louisville. This is the first one in a good little bit here. I just wanted to take a quick second before we get into this to just say thank you to you. Yes, you, the viewer, whoever you are. I don't know you, but I appreciate you sticking by. Whether you're new or old, I just wanted to take a quick second um, to say thank you for really just being here as my channel has begun to grow a, a good bit um, over the past little while. So I just wanted to say my thanks as um, this old saying I say is a channel does not exist without me, but a channel does also not exist without the viewership. So I just wanted to say my thanks. That's all. Enjoy Matt Reader's baloney bull crap. And I wish you guys a good one. And uh, well, we are starting off in a bit of a pickle as we are hungry, very bored, severely depressed and have a heavy load. Good thing I brought some snacks up here in the last episode because if you missed it, all of our uh, all of our uh, water went out. First things first, eat a whole thing of cheese, and we'll eat a entire thing of processed cheese. I think in the last episode, oh, hey, look at that! Look at I did. Rock, get weapon. Rock, talk. Be a fucking menace to zombies everywhere except for in rural Texas. For some reason okay uh i feel like i missed a lot there i do have a lot of things i want to do today i'm actually going to be heading the right today i am going to be trying to stick to a goal and i want to try to get into these buildings here and see what's in them just kind of get some exploration and maybe get some more uh kills uh though kills don't really count turns anything anymore because unfortunately uh i made the weird rule oh i didn't make a weird rule i made a rule basically where from now on we are no longer uh, counting zombie kills as points uh it's a very complicated thing by the way if you're new to this series it was a lot of things but uh let's go ahead and get this thing going on but uh i do want to take things a bit slowly because we are starting off in a bit of a pickle so i do want to Ooh, there's a cop this is actually what caused the last two matt readers to die I, I don't record for like a week or two and i come back and then and then i fucking forget and i get bit almost immediately so we're gonna take it a bit slower today oh yeah vector oh yeah look i'm gonna be honest with you i took a lot of things for granted this is the one thing i've missed the most sitting here being a dumbass on the internet good larsh it's it's been rough i've been bored out of my freaking mind okay we have a is that a fucking is that green santa oh my gosh this could be the halloween episode oh no uh-oh oh no do I have my baseball bat somewhere? Baseball bat, baseball bat, backup bat. No shit. Fuck. Piss. I am gonna pick up the bait. The uh, I'm gonna pick up the uh, the the the, 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 the green Santa hat because it is funny, and I'm gonna put it on my head. At least put it on because I know they're behind me. Oh my gosh, I actually got him. Which I'm trying to also get better with uh, this weapon as well, because I do have a couple of short blunt weapons, so it is a good idea to at least have a couple of these on hand. But uh, we will be taking those because. Fuck yeah. Mr. M Mr. Matt Reader 5 over here. He's got the worst trait ever. Sore legs. I, s I swear to you, if you ever play Project Zomboid, never take this freaking trait. It sucks so bad. It just kills your fucking runs. It kills them. I have this difficulty where I'm just like, I, I have like the best character, but he every time he even takes a step, his foot, he gets foot pains. He's like, I don't my foot out my foot like he has a fucking uh splinter stuck in like the most on a nerve or something in his foot maybe that's the story he was on a deck he was with he, maybe this is the story right he went to his friend's house once to go swim in his pool and he had a very his friend had a very old wooden deck uh wrapped around his pool and you can guess exactly what happened then he got he got a splinter let's drop the santa suit off because why would i not want a fucking santa suit this is fucking amazing. Green Santa suit. I will wear... I will save this for the Christmas episode. If there is a Christmas episode. I guess the plan for now, uh, more specifically, get long blunt weapons. Because I'm good at those. I actually do have a really good uh, long blunt stat. I think I have a long blunt stat of three. Short blade is getting a bit better. Short blunt's getting a bit better. So we're, we're doing better. We're getting there. I mean, I do have a fucking... Um, I do have a shotgun. A lot of things, actually. I'm trying to get better at the mechanics in this game involving combat. Oh my gosh, it's a fucking clown! I'm not dying to a clown! I will not die to you, fucking Pennywise! 
Okay, you know I'm gonna put this on, right? Uh, like, I'm going to 100% put that outfit on. We're gonna go do the funniest thing I could ever imagine. I will cut away and you will see what... I mean, it doesn't really work with me, uh, personally. So I am gonna very quickly put back on my, uh, much heavier things, like my, my fisherman gear. Because it is a bit better. Uh, but, uh, very funny. Very worth... Much... It is very, very much so worth the funny. That, I, I will, I will do more with that later. Okay, we're still severely depressed. Which is a problem, obviously. Oh, I'm still wearing the clown nose. You know what? No, it suits me. All right. I'm officially the cowboy clown fisherman. All right, so yeah, there is, a, like I said, there is a lot of zombies over here. I don't know where the gunshot came from. So I'm worried that they kind of migrated up this way. Which does kind of interfere with my overall plan of world domination. Well, that and, uh, you know, going over here. My whole plan for this episode was literally just go this way. I want to go see what's over here. As long as we don't have, as long as it isn't too, like, zombie-filled and action-packed, we should be okay. We can't go into fossil-filled yet. Sounds like a Fortnite thing. Is that just me? That sounds like a Fortnite thing. Fossil fields. And it's just, like, it's just fucking Fortnite dancing. Yeah, that's some bullshit. That's, that's a fucking shitty-ass uh, gifts and souvenirs thing. You would think, a place called From the Dugout, a place that's supposed to be, like, a fucking, uh, souvenir shop for, uh, a baseball field, right? you think, oh, they probably have, like, some fucking... you think they have some souvenirs for, like, uh, for baseball and shit like that? No, they don't. It's actually empty in here right now. Please stay quiet. Don't. I don't want them finding out I'm a nerd. Ooh, some good shit in here. I don't want to go. I don't want to go too far over here. But there is okay. So we do know that there is some uh, melee weapons over here, which is actually a good thing. Holy shit, this is cool, dude! I've never been downtown. This is so cool. This could be like a little setup spot here. Holy shit! Okay, we gotta. We got one. We gotta. We got us a spot. That is awesome. I'm gonna take the small risk here, and we are gonna sleep right here. Sorry, I am. I know I probably should not be having my back turned. I'm taking a small second because I am texting on my phone like I shouldn't be doing in a zombie apocalypse. Oh my gosh, another pair. Holy shit. Okay, and then I want to eat the whole, whole ham. I would like to check out that big old semi over there. Oh, there's a big ass uh, recycling truck going around. Holy shit, I need to get out of here. This is bad. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this is the fucking school. Oh my gosh, I went down the wrong street. There are so many motherfuckers here. I, think I might do some siphoning to try to get that other car to work. Because if we can get that other, if we can get that other uh, Range Rover, I think I had in the last episode. If we can get that working, then it would probably, I'd say, help us pretty well. And I also really need to find a generator soon. Because if I run out of if I run out of power, I'm fucked. Actually, I'm gonna take some sleep pills. Take a nap. My boy needs a nap. We need to sleep overnight. This is a bit mono. We could try to head south. I mean, we've already cleared out a good majority of this area over here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head up this way. I'm gonna head back to the community center uh, when it gets morning. And we're going to go and try to get that link, that uh, Range Rover to work, or the Toyota, whatever car it was. We're going to try to get it to work. We're going to go on a bit of a stealth mission. Okay, uh, we got a few friends who are making their debut and their demise. Oh, by the way, one of the mods that I have um, is a very interesting mod. I feel like it makes the game more realistic. Uh, I do have a mod installed uh, where after a certain amount of kills, I can't remember exactly how many, uh, we do get uh, the desensitized trait. Hey, dipshit. That's mean. Two gas cans. Ooh. Okay, my question is, if there's no gas... Okay, well, actually, I just kind of answered my own question in my head. So, I was about to say, so if all these cars are parked, how the fuck do they park them? And then I realized we're in an apocalypse. So probably a lot of these cars were probably siphoned. All right, well, I have to retreat in the house for just a minute. Uh, because, uh, well, my dog is, she is not liking the storm, so I am 
having to uh, give her some attention because she is she needs comfort whenever the storm is hit because she doesn't like the loud noises. All right, uh, I guess it'll be a little bit. So yeah, my plan still is the same because surprisingly, I actually remember what I was doing. I was wanting to head down this street here and kind of figure out what's going on down here. Try to get a view, lay of the land, maybe do a bit of looting. Dang, where do all these zombies keep coming from? Okay, we can deal with two. I can pull. Okay, three. Three is doable. Ah, uh, uh, ball, ball. Maybe we can explore a little bit more of the baseball field. Maybe. We'll actually go inside here real quick. Got our first. Got our first map. Good sign. I think we found a lot of alcohol. Is there alcohol in here? Nothing. No alcohol. What? This is a fucking bar. Or, maybe, well, it looks like a bar because there's what seem to be tabs, like beer tabs and shit like that. But I guess it's not beer. I guess it's just, uh, I don't even know. I'm just gonna drink my fucking Kool Aid Jammer. Well, I think it's from one of my mods. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's from one of my mods. I hear him. Oh shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, it's like a fucking, fucking. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a good couple of zombies. More than I can do. Oh, ho, ho, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, yep, back to the house. Back to the house. Back to it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't really see anything, so I don't really know. Dude, it's still fucking going on. Um, uh, sorry, I guess I should do some explanation for my folks who may not know what Project Zomboid is. In Project Zomboid, uh, one of the events that can happen is called a helicopter event. Um, helicopter events sound good because you may think it is a, oh, hey, they can save us type thing. Uh, no, it is not. It is the literal opposite. It is your fucking doom if you're not careful. I have had this happen before and it is, it is awful because it is basically going to attract a lot of zombies. I guess we're just going to have to leave it for the next episode, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I do hope that you have enjoyed, and if you have, consider comment, liking, and subscribing, all that usual shit. But until then, this has been Pear, the fisherman, the police fisherman clown cowboys, uh, with Matt Reader 5. Wishing you guys a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!